This is Franklin Graham, and I just want to uh, say good morning to you, and thank you for this opportunity to just speak to you briefly. Right now, I'm in the middle of a tour. We're going to every state capitol to hold a prayer rally to get the churches and to get Christians to take this country back and to get out and vote and vote for politicians that are willing to stand for biblical principles. Who we send to Washington is important, but think about the local elections. Who are the city council? Who are the county commissioners? Could you imagine if in the next three or four election cycles, if evangelical Christians were the majority on the school boards in America, how important that would be and the impact that that would have on the education system of this nation for the next 20 years? And so I would hope that each and every one of you will get behind me and let's get the church to vote this November, how important that is. And I want Christians to run for office. I want Christians to pray. If God might use you in your local community to be a leader, this may be our last chance. I need your help. In April of 2014, I just started having this gut feeling that God wanted me to do something that brought more people to His kingdom. I wrote in my prayer journal, I said, God, what is it you want me to do? I'm not growing your kingdom, and I want to honor you. How do I do it? Little did I know that 17 days later, my son went home to be with the Lord. He was out longboarding, and uh, he fractured his skull, and he was instantly gone. My son was my life here, right, when he was here with me. He was my baby. We just pray for those that are going to God gave me an instant sense of urgency. People need to know him. The times we live in are crucial right now for people coming to Christ. You're there to kind of welcome. You're the welcome crew. You're hey, glad you're here. In the past year and a half, I have seen more moral decay in our society than I have in my lifetime. I have seen that the gray is dissolving and the dark is getting darker. What's happened is godlessness has come into this nation of ours whose foundations were built on biblical principles, our laws. All that we have has come from God. I'm here today to say I'm not going without a fight. You could just look out into the faces and you knew they were just ready for our country to come back.